this week on council customs is the truck that really started it all this is not the first truck the first classic truck that my dad had this is second probably this is the second classic truck that he had he had a 53 f100 and this is a 55 mercury m100 i'm gonna let him come in and tell you all about all about it all right it's a real mercury truck 22 years they made them in, only in canada ford motor company of canada this is a 55 which supposedly it's the second rarest year that they made it this is 4315 made this year uh this one's been featured in three magazines and then parts123.com ran it in their ad back when the internet first started they ran it in their ad for a while but it was a picture that wasn't it was whenever it was the previous owner I bought this from a Ford factory service representative out of the Louisville, Kentucky plant out of Louisville, Kentucky. And he had this on his all glass enclosed garage that was back behind his house. What year did you buy it? Uh, I think I've had it since 99. And it's 2024 right now. So 25 years you've had this truck. So 25 years or so. And it, basically every time you take it somewhere, nobody's ever heard of a Mercury truck. Here, we'll show you some of the badging and stuff. It is Ford Motor Company of Canada. And just like a Ford car nowadays, or a Mercury car nowadays, back when they still made Mercury, Mercury's been discontinued. But Mercury was a step above a Ford. So some of the things that were factory on a Mercury were options on a Ford truck. Like that. This is a... This means custom cab on this, this hockey, they call this a hockey stripe. This bar down here, I've only ever seen one other one, and this is a Mercury only stripe. Stars on Ford trucks means six, six cylinders, and they're little tiny, little tiny bars with a little ball in the middle. And I've never seen another one of these, and this is a Mercury only star. It doesn't mean six cylinder because the Mercury trucks didn't have six cylinder. This has got a 256 Y block. Some people call it's our, it. It's got, the, it's got the lettering across the front of the hood as well. Uh, when Ford, it, a Ford would have had the crest badging. Has a stainless drip rail. Has the two door locks. Has, uh, I have mirrors, brand new mirrors for it. This is a custom cab. This has every option available, even six volt electric wipers. I have it, but I don't have it installed. So, it Did, has, wasn't it true that Mercury's could come stock with white walls, but Ford's did not come stock with white walls? You could get white walls from a dealer, but Ford's, they, they were work trucks. Nobody, nobody wanted white walls. These were only available for the, uh, the Canadian market. This is basically a Ford rebadged from the factory Mercury. It's Ford Motor Company of Canada for the Canadian market. So factory Y block, factory, the way it's set up. No aftermarket hopped up parts, no nothing on it. 100% bone stock original truck. Restored to original. Restored to original truck, I'm that sorry. Paint, the paint on the firewall has never been restored. That's why it has that dull finish. That's this original is, paint on the firewall. This is meadow green, and this paint was only, they put it in production for the Bell Telephone Company. But you can see, obviously, this outside has been repainted and restored. This is a paint, this is a base coat, clear coat. And everything up underneath is done just as clean as it is on the outside. So up underneath is, but it is not gloss paint. <laughs> Semi-gloss, flat black. <laughs> All the all the wires have been cloth white or cloth wrapped. The bed. The fella I got the truck from, it was restored in '93-ish, and it was restored and painted up in Canada. This is the original bed, and you can tell these are original beds because the uh, the original beds have a little ripple wave here. And this still has a couple little 
wood dings so this out of pampered life whenever you buy a repopped bed these are laser punched holes and it doesn't give that ripple so if y'all can see in the reflection if you look from the bed stripes to there you can see the rippling on the bedside that he's talking about this is all the stuff whenever i was growing up people wonder why to this day i have the randomest knowledge of little things this is what i grew up with this guy right here telling me crap like this and then i just go off and start reading and doing research myself doing the same thing so that's i get it from him but anyway we're going to go into the truck We'll look at the interior here. It's a little nicer. I have the, we have the knob right here, just not on. We're, gonna, we're about to put that on. This seat is a little nicer than the factory seats. The factory seats are just straight. This is, this has got a little, little tiny little tuck and roll to it. I don't know if that was 100% original, but it's original type and it looks like it. This has got the factory tube radio with the factory air, uh, the factory uh, speaker up top. It is one year earlier speaker. It's got the heater down below. It has the rear overdrive, factory overdrive. And factory overdrive. Two visors were an option, but it's standard on a Mercury truck. has a white wall spare mounted up underneath. It has oak in the bed with polished stainless just for looks instead of the black steel slat or black steel hold down strips. Now, which one would have been original? Probably the black steel. Okay, so that's like one of the very few things that is actually like an aftermarket that changed up. That and these little dress up wire instead of having some ugly old wires hanging off the back. And I'm guessing like a rubber thing over the chain? Or would yeah, that be that factory? Would, I don't know if that's that would, factory or not. That would be factory, but they, they generally were rotted off there. These, I've only seen one real set, and it had mercury across there. I've only ever seen one real set on eBay, and they wanted $800 just for the lenses. So the wood in the bed is stained light mahogany, because I thought that looked good against the green. And it's stained, stained and varnished up underneath where it looks just like it. Original Mercury tailgate. Everywhere it says Ford, or let me show them inside the glove box where it says Ford Motor Company of Canada. And that's what makes a difference. So what he's talking about is your serial number badging is not on the door jams or anything like that in these trucks. It's right here on the glove box. And that's what makes this truck different than most others. Is that one right there says Ford Motor Company of America Limited. It doesn't say, it doesn't just say Ford Motor Company. And then it's titled as a Ford, but it's a, a fake Mercury. This one's a real Mercury with real documentation, real title, real everything. Since nobody's really ever seen them, if somebody just finds a tailgate on eBay, then they'll say that there's a Mercury and then they'll sell it as a cloned and try to get the full mercury price for it. But this is an actual real mercury. They're out there, they're just, I hate saying rare because there's one Barracuda that, this is the only one that had two visors. No, this is, I just say hard to find. Not always does rare mean valuable, but in this case, rare is valuable. This and your Hudson were really like your pride and joy kind of trucks to this to one, look for originally. This one runs and drives like a 1955 truck, and it's not made for these modern day streets. 24, 2024 roads. People don't give you the respect. It's still six volt. Still has a six volt battery in the floor. Still has drum brakes all the way around. It's fun, but it's just not as fun as like a street rod is. It's very pretty and very cool to look at. It's very pretty. I hated the color when I first saw it, but then I started getting more into it. And thank God this was not red, because if this was red, 
that's the reason why they put it in all the magazines because it was green and they said it would look really good showing up on their magazine. Do you have it in the magazine or the magazines in the glove box? Yes. Before that one? Yep. Go back one more page. That's the hills of Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. They asked if I'd mind if I took it out there into that hay field. There was a guy who had a blown tub street rod truck and he wouldn't drive his out in the field. And I said, heck yeah, I'll drive it out there. So there it is with the stock racks on the back to make it a little bit more look like a farm truck. Now turn one more page. That's how small he was when we first started doing the trucks. Is in here again. Yeah, that's enough. Oh. They ran it in there. So the editor of Street Rod, or the editor of Classic Truck Magazine, Jim Rizzo, told me he was gonna try to get it on the cover of the magazine. But then he wrote me back an email and told me that his editors, or his higher up bosses, would not cover, would not approve a stock truck on the cover, even if it was like up on the very top corner. So they wouldn't approve it being on the cover. So he says, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to take and have you, I'm going to give you something that's like a surprise. So he posted it and put it, he put it in their uh, calendar for 2001. There. There it is, taking the, this is one of the only few trucks that I've ever seen that it showed up in two magazines in the same month in the same year. Not only that, a, a stock truck being in truck and magazine he may be restored and everything but if you ever go back and flip through truck and magazine that's it it's a three page if you ever go back and flip through truck and magazine they were pretty much all aftermarket or brand new off the lot that they're doing like testing or something like that on for it to be in a truck and magazine truck and magazine so spe specifically for it to be in that one and have a full three three page spread i mean that's that's quite a bit. Those pictures were taken in Pigeon Forge one day apart in that magazine. And at the time, those were two competitor magazines. So they were both trying to be the one to get it out into their publication first. So I stayed in contact with both of them and asked them, hey, do you know when it's gonna run? And separately they said, yeah, we're gonna try to get it in next month, but it generally would take two months for it to be in the magazine. And they both put it in the magazine. And then shortly after that, they both got merged to the same company. So that's one of the only times you would ever see the same truck in uh, two different magazines in the same month. So it was kind of cool for, for back in November of 2000 because my truck was in two magazines at one time. And how often, there's not very many of y'all, the, the, 55, 56, 50, or uh, sorry, the 53, 54, 55, 56 Ford F100s. Notorious for their hood hinges. How many of y'all have seen a stock hood hinge truck that shuts this good? You don't see the big bulging out the back corners. You got to walk around and push down each corner and get it all to shut. You got the perfect hood gaps and everything on it. Speed on the column. I have my daughter helping me out here. 
three speed on the column. It's got a uh, factory overdrive over here, but right now we're just gonna use probably, probably just one and two. But here we go. We're gonna get, get out here on the street. Turn and, turn and show the road, baby. Oh, show up, show up, stop. There you go. See it? You having fun? It's hot out here, huh? Here you go. Woo Race truck, huh? <laughs> Whenever dad gets up here, we'll take some more videos and everything with it. But I really want to take my daughter for a ride around the block in it. She's never ridden in it. So me and her just going for a little cruise around the area, have a little fun. So I'm going to set the phone down and we're just going to enjoy it here for a minute. So there it is. Y'all got to see it, know it, love it. The 1955 Mercury M100. I've had this truck since 99. And here it is. Here's all the details on it. Uh, the magazines that it's been in and everything. Super badass. Uh, original style truck. But there it is. Appreciate y'all watching. Thank you.